Hello, hello, hello to all of my Cancers. We are still officially in Cancer season. It is Thursday where I am, but I'm putting the video up early for those of you all where it's Friday where you all are. My videos are timeless. So whenever you click on this video, even if it's on Saturday, Sunday, next week, whatever the case may be, you're supposed to see it whenever you're supposed to see it. So there's no coincidence. Let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's get into your reading. My last and final gift to you all, because I still haven't heard from everybody who received their gifts, and that's okay, because we're going to just run right on into Leo season very, very soon. My last and final gift is that the first person who texts me, not below and under the videos, you have my number by now. If you've been even if you're new to my channel, my number is below in the description box, okay? That's the answer right there. The first person who texts me, I am a cancer. I don't care where cancer is in your chart. I'm going to give you a free reading. That's it. All right, and so we're going to close out the giveaways. Like I said, I, I really wish that I had, you know, more people had responded when they got their gifts in the mail. As soon as you get your gifts in the mail, that's, that's what lets me know, okay, I can continue moving forward. I want to make sure we don't have any mailing issues or no other issues or whatever. So, you know, so thank you to you all who have uh, reached out to me to let me know that you got your gifts in the mail. And don't forget to watch some of the other channels because, again... I do my giveaways for you, whatever. And the secret is, is that if you would ever, if you have, like, for instance, we're going into Leo season. If you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, guess what? You can also win gifts during Leo season. So don't stay stuck that, oh, I'm a, I'm a cancer. And, and, and so our time has passed. Look at the Leo videos coming up. I just gave you guys a heads up. I love to do giveaways for my supporters. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. The energy has already been clear. Cancers, let's go. Let's go. Cancer, we are currently in the last quarter moon in Aries, which is divine masculine energy. You are a divine feminine sign. We are not talking about any Aries that you know. We are not talking about any Aries that you know. We're talking about Aries, the sign Aries being ruled by Mars, right? All right, Cancer. All right, all right, all right, Cancer. Something has ended. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so something has ended. We have a death rebirth. Some of you all have been going around and around in circles on a hamster wheel, um, and it has been very emotionally painful for you all. But going to this next side of yourself, like I said, and so here we have the Death Rebirth card. We have the Five of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, right? I love it, love it, love it. Somebody's looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. But getting back on your throne and leaving your low vibration feelings about things, put them behind, put them behind this, this, um, this cage here. You earned your place on the throne. A lot of people around you saw you as very royal energy, kingdom, a uh, king or a queen. I'm talking to men and women cancers. People saw you as such. You're a very nurturing sign. You all are really sweethearts. You give your absolute best. You're, you're human lie detectors. You're very, your energy is very reflective, very maternal. Again, I'm talking to men and women cancers. And so people know that once you ascend higher and you leave them behind, they feel it. They feel that water going with you, right? That your water sign. So they feel your water. That's the maternal energy. That is the, the nurturing energy. They feel it instantly, right? So again, people start to see, wow. And, you're, and here's the thing. I see somebody leaving a job, right? I see somebody leaving a job, some kind of a relationship, whether it's a job, which is a professional relationship, a friendship or whatever. You all are not even mixing words. You're not being mean. But let's say, for instance, you decide to leave a job, Cancer. And you have certain people who treated you, who reciprocated. They showed that appreciation on the job. Those are the only people you're reaching out to. You're letting, obviously, your leadership know, hey, I'm leaving. Um, but you're also only connecting with people who reciprocated that, they, that nurturing energy that you poured out. They actually saw the best in you. So the people who didn't see the best in you and they kept... They stayed down at a low frequency, kept drama going on and kept trying to, uh, you know, smile in your face and be phony towards you in the workplace. You have no words for them. You don't have any low vibrating. Like I said, you're putting your low vibrating energy to the, you know, it's behind lock and key. It's like, listen, I know I'm royalty and you know it too. So we don't even have to get into that. So I don't have anything to say. I'm just getting as far away from the hostility as possible. I know who I am. This is a person who is very firm in knowing who they are. You've already communicated that to yourself. You've been in receiving note mode to also uh, hear that from source sources. Yeah, it's okay for you to leave that relationship, that professional relationship. 
it's okay for you to leave the friendship and it is okay for you to go ahead and sever ties because we're talking about sword energy. When you use a sword, sever ties with something. It's okay to sever ties with certain family members, certain friends, a job. If that if that has not been if that has not been nurturing you the way that you've nurtured it, right? It or them, right? You're getting as far away from that low vibrating energy as possible. Remember, we just entered into this new phase within this cycle on the 20th of this month. So it's still kind of fresh and kind of new. Remember we talked about identifying energy leaks? Yeah. This is how Source is trying to, you know, make you look again, like really the sweetheart that you are, the sweetheart that you are. So it doesn't matter. See, a lot of you all, the, the balance comes in this. There are some people in your life that's going to really say, you know what, Cancer, you really are a really nice person. You're really a sweetheart. You really go all out for your friends. You do X, Y, and Z. So why are you allowing demonic energy to drag you back to what the other people said? That demonic energy, like the enemy is really trying to recruit. Your lower self is what the enemy is in the metaphysical sense. It's trying to recruit, trying to bring you back down, drag you back down. Like for some of you all who have started your businesses, the lower part of you will say, well, all of my friends support my business, but my own family doesn't support my business. Who cares? Seriously, if you got this you know, group over here that appreciates you and they're supporting your brand, why are you going to give them half emotional effort because you're so worried about your family not supporting you or this friend that's not supporting you? They just told on themselves. They just, ex they just exposed themselves. Remember how magnetic you are? You're pulling the truth out of people about how they really feel about a certain thing. You don't need to vibrate low. Put that low vibrating energy away. Just put it away. A away in lock and key. Every now and then you need to you need to tap into your lower region of yourself just to let people know, hold on, I have boundaries up here and there are consequences for crossing those boundaries. But for right now, moving into this new phase in your life, it doesn't have to be dramatic or traumatic, right? Matter of fact, somebody's looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. You're getting as far away from the culture of certain environments where people have really try to just to try to see the worst in you. They wanted to see that you were moody and negative and clingy and unpredictable and suspicious of everything. Like you were just a complete basket case. That's what you're leaving behind. So kudos to you. Kudos to you. Something is dead and it's never being, you're never breathing life back into it. You're not watering it anymore. They have taken you, some places have some relationships and I'm talking about work relationships, friendships, family relationships, platonic uh, relationships have taken you down to your lowest where you saw them at the darkest at the deepest darkest lowest point that's what they were trying to bring you down to that you were like mm -mm. i see light at the end of my tunnel and i'm out of here I'm, I'm gone i am out of here you can think what you want to think because there's almost nine billion people on the planet so you think i'm worried about that little group of people what you must not know me <laughs> You must not know me. Justice is in your favor. Something is, like I said, even if you don't have a court date, this is also moral justice. In other words, sources like, you don't have to worry about this. Once you cut that job off, that friend off, that family member off, that old friend off, you don't have anything to worry about. You have successfully made it to the other side. This is your rebirth, right? Something has ended permanently. You're not trying to restitch things up. You're not trying to come back 10 years later. Something has ended permanently, right? So here we have the judgment card. You're not even judging anybody. You have ascended higher, right? You have ascended higher. It's like a loved one whose body is laid to rest and everybody is mourning it. Like people left behind. That's why I always tell people, be real careful about how you treat people in your life. No matter what, ascend higher. I'm tell I'm serious. Ascend higher, create some very firm boundaries like the Queen of Swords right here. So that when you when you do ascend higher, meaning that you get another promotion and you have to leave that job behind, it doesn't matter what people said about you. God said, I'm the one that promoted you. Just like God said, I promoted some of your family members that have transitioned on. Like your purpose was here. Your purpose was right here. And sometimes we don't know people's purpose for being here in the realm. But again, God said, I'm putting you back on the throne. Let those people say and do what they want to do. Everything is in your favor. I will not I will not let them touch you. Here we have the four of cups. You don't even need to sit around and overthink this. That's just the enemy trying to pull you backwards. That's why somebody is sitting around ruminating over it. Because the enemy is just like at work. Like, okay, you know, uh, I, I got to remind you of this. 
You don't look if you're sitting around posted up overthinking something, get up and go outside, go to the pool, go drink some water, do something else, get out of that space, take some kind of action. There's nothing to overthink. We're in the last quarter moon of Aries. That's the time where you're going to take, put some fire up under yourself and charge through these emotions. Somebody is going to feel real good very soon. You're going to finally feel like, you know what? I am no longer in bondage. That was self-sabotage for me to stay on that job, in that friendship, in that romantic relationship, or even with certain family members. That was self-sabotage. Like, what was I thinking? Somebody's learning how to take their power back. I love it. So here we have somebody, four of wands. Somebody may be celebrating outside of a courthouse since I'm seeing justice here. Or if you don't have a, a um, court date, somebody could be celebrating outside of their body, which is their house, this temporary house that we have here. Like, finally, I left all of that behind. I'm not staying in contact with anybody there. I left it all behind, right? So yes, kudos and congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Even when it comes to the energy of money, you even sitting around thinking about, okay, how am I going to make some money from this? You're going to, again, sever ties with your past so that you can now make room for your creativity. You're a very creative sign, so you're making room for your creativity and saying, okay, God, give me some creative ideas. You're going to find your creative ideas while you're in a bathtub, while you're taking a shower, while you're swimming in the pool. All of your connections are going to come connecting to water, right? Connecting you to water. So you don't even have to overthink it. Let everybody else around you be nervous about your new beginning. But you, you leaving all the drama behind. Here we have the Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, there are some people who really, really thought that they took you out. They look like, okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to finish cancer off. I'm going to finish them off. I'm going to do one last thing to emotionally drive them bananas, drive them crazy so they can have a complete, and it's terrible that people would do that cancer so they can have a complete, and that's the devil, a, a nervous breakdown. And then you said, no, you won't, not this time. I've been through too much. I've, I've been through too much emotionally. I'm taking my, I'm snatching my power back. You thought you were going to make me have a nervous breakdown? Good luck with that. You just created your own karma. Your intentions towards me was horrible. You just created your own karma. So like I said before, somebody, um, somebody didn't feel rooted and grounded when it came to them, when it came to their money, they feel like, okay, I got to stay in this position. I got to stay in this position. I got to deal with all of this, giving up my power and my intellect, letting these people think that I'm crazy and stupid. I got to stay in this marriage or whatever the relationship was i gotta stay in this friendship because you know and every time i give over my power i feel dumber and dumber and dumber right of course i'm not absolutely not calling anybody dumb there's no judgment over here what i'm saying to you is that the more and more you kept giving up your power the more and more people just kept taking advantage of you just seeing because they wanted you to snap they wanted you to snap they felt like somehow they had power over you or when it came to your money that's what i'm saying somebody's gonna leave their job and just start celebrating like those people really thought that i was going to go i was going to have a nervous breakdown that they were going to break me emotionally they must not know that god resides in me they got it all messed up here we have the death card again something is really over like something is really 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 over like for good right somebody was able to tap into their power source this judgment card is attached to pluto pluto is our power source it is it governs a lot of things in us and plus including our fear including our sex including all of that stuff so somebody just felt like wow Cancer, somebody really felt defeated. I mean, like really defeated. And when you were at that low of a frequency where you felt that defeated and you just you just want to have on blindfolds. But the bad thing about wearing blindfolds, it is self-sabotaging. But the bad the really bad thing about blindfolds is that you don't see the devils coming your way. That's why somebody is so free. They're like, okay, and this one makes so much sense to you, Cancer, that now I understand why God allowed me to stay down in that frequency for so long. So that because I have such a nurturing, mothering energy, if I didn't raise my frequency, I wouldn't be able to see what's coming my way so that I don't nurture that energy anymore. Somebody was operating like they were the only cancer on this planet, like they were the only mother, like mothering energy, like they were the only person that could offer, you know, these lost little babies out here, anything. I'm talking to you again, if you have cancer anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon or rising or Venus anywhere in your chart so well let's see what else we have here cancer so kudos to 
like kudos to you for taking your power back unapologetically. Kudos to you for people leaving you emotionally for dead, meaning your vision. Like you couldn't see yourself, you know, starting your own business. You couldn't see yourself in certain positions, cancer. So kudos to you for getting up, surviving. Now it's time to thrive. It is really time to thrive. Creatively, I'm telling you, this, this, uh, just as somebody knows, somebody is gonna write the somebody is gonna write an amazing, inspirational song, an amazing inspirational book because God had to let the devil drag you all the way down and put you in contact with some real demonic energy that would have inspired you so you can stop being so naive and thinking that everybody was just oh they would never I mean if I just nurture them if I if I nurse them back to health they're gonna treat me the right way. God said, no, no, your purpose is, your purpose is to nurture the world. You're a nurturer by default. Your purpose is to show people that it, money is a form of energy. It doesn't always come in a form of um, coins and paper, even though I see a lot of that for you all. That's why somebody's saying, okay, and now I'm going to create space for new money to come into your life. So creatively, a lot of creative ideas are going to come through just because, again, you got back up. You got back up. There's somebody's ex talking about them right now. I finished them off. They might not say it out of their mouth because it would, it would expose them as really being very demonic energy. But they're somewhere by themselves with a smile on their face. Yeah, I ended it for them. They'll never find love again. They'll never find, they'll never work in this industry again. Whether it's the government, whether it's the music industry, whether it's, there's several people that did it because we got 10, 10 swords here. There's several people who thought, they never get back again. They forgot that you know who's inside of you. That's what they forgot. But they're about to find out. They're about to find out cancers. They are about to find out. Somebody, like I said, is getting ready to write some amazing songs. So it's maybe sing us some amazing songs, write a great book, graduate, graduate from culinary school or graduate from college or do something that people said you would never do. A lot of things are about to happen for you, so get ready. Come up out of that space. Here we have the three of pentacles, and your money is perfectly aligned, perfectly aligned. When I say perfectly, that's like you have direct access to source, right? You've cleared away all of that stuff. You got the death card up here twice. Let's me know. That's emphasized. Like, that thing is really over. There's no ever coming back. I'm done. I'm not bitter, but you left me for dead. You did some things. You talked about me. You didn't even know I knew what you said about me. Isn't it crazy, Cancer, where people talk about you, talk negatively about you, and then when you leave a situation, all of a sudden they got something kind to say about you? Your only response is thank you. That's it. That's it. Thank you. They're expecting more. They're expecting some more information out of you. There's nothing else to say. Thank you. You don't even know that for years people have been telling me that you've been stabbing me in my back. You don't even, I'm not holding on to any grudges. I just know. So I'm not going to be phony with you. Sorry, I, I'm not on that. I'm not even on that phony energy. I'm not going to be phony with you. I'm not kikiing with you. We're not having no one last conversation or none of that. Just thank you. Because again, I got back on my throne. I got back on my throne. I know who I am. So you stay down there. I don't have any negative things to say about you. Even though I know what you said about me, it doesn't even matter. Deep breathing. So just take a deep breath and get ready for this ride because it's a good one. It's a, this rebirth side for a lot of you all, you're going to be so glad. We have a new moon that's starting on the um, starting on the 28th of this month. And so it's the new moon in Leo. And Leo is ruled by the sun. Um, the sun represents a great life. Like think about when you think about when you go out when you're out in the sun. And I'm not talking about where it's blazing hot, where it's a thousand degrees, right? I'm talking about when you how look how you feel when you're in the sun. Like you you wanna take off layers of clothing, you wanna, you know, you you feel good, it's medicinal, you're like, okay, so this one represents for a lot of people the great life is coming your way. So like I said, you're not interested in being fake and phony, none of that stuff. You're not interested in you, all of that other stuff, you're not interested in that, in other words. So let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. You don't have anything negative to say about anybody from your past. You just decided, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I don't have anything bad to say about you. You created your own karma. And if that, if you receive it, that's on you. You know, whatever reason God allowed it to happen, but you're very close to achieving your goal. So like I said, if you have severed ties with anything and you had to leave those things in the past, 
be okay with it emotionally. No matter what they try to do to you, no matter what, how much they try to have you, a nervous breakdown, try to gaslight you. I'm telling you, your enemy will show you on the very last day or close to the last day that you have severed ties with them the reason why God said you made the right decision. They'll lie. You ask them a question, they'll tell a bold-faced lie. But in their mind, they're so used to lying and they think they're so crafty that they'll justify, oh, it was the way that you worded it. I didn't understand the way you worded it. If you were, to, if you felt like, okay, you know what? I got, I got receipts. I got a screenshot that says you did do X, Y. Oh, I didn't understand the question. Because you got to come to them with evidence because they're just liars. So again, move on. Move on from it. Just move on. Move on. So God is always looking out for us. Source is always looking out for us. We'll show you at the last 11th hour. See, I told you you made the right decision, Cancer, to move on from that. I told you. I am independent. 17, which reduces to 8, the energy of money. Money exchange number, right? The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. That's what I'm talking about, Cancers. Show people who you really, what you really made of creatively. Show them what you're made of. You are not a basket case. You know, some of the best poetry, love songs, books came out of such a dark place of pain where people just thought that they had just stomped the creativity out of you. Show them what you really made of. All right. It's time to get up. Don't let the devil pull you backwards with all of this in your ear, talking to you about this and trying to reel you back in, X calling you, trying to reconnect with you. God is constantly showing you because again, source wants to bring you forward so you can close out this cycle and move forward. So don't let the enemy drag you backwards. That is what I have for you. Especially don't let it drag you backwards, you know, have negative low vibrating thoughts. Like I said, I will see you all on Sunday. So again, Keep on moving forward, cancers. You love. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Keep on moving forward. That's what I have for you. And I will see you on Sunday. Bye.